What was the first what? thing though when mom would became like a, a person that you were like, oh maybe I'll date this person that that you I, were attracted to? Wife and mother, I thought. Really? She, yeah, oh. she's the person that would be good to raise kids with. What, was, what qualities wow. though did she exude that would? Sense of humor, um, fun to be with. Uh, just I knew she would be a person that would uh, take care of my kids the right way and that kind of. I was, I went, knew I wanted to have kids ever since I was a little kid. I said I want to have kids. Aww. And uh, I always wanted to have two kids. And uh, you wanted that third, but I. No, we never. We. Uh, well, you got it last night. How <laughs> oh, gross! I got. I've known these people my whole life. Uh, I felt like I feel like I've known you forever. I feel like from my waking uh, breath into this world, I've known you. Um, it's my parents, everyone. It's EJ and Julie Glazer. EJ, let's get you on. All Welcome right. to the show. <clears throat> it's great to be here, Nikki. Thanks, Dad. Great to see you. People love your radio voice. Can you give us a little sampling of it? It's you up with Nikki Glazer. Yes, very okay. That was nice. You can get a little closer to the mic. I feel like you, you. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. People like your voice. They want it. They want more of it. Every time I post anything with you, your dad has a great radio voice. So here you are. Yeah, you've tried to get me to go into ASMR, but I just haven't taken the, the lead. Oh my God, you could have you could clean up financially oh. on ASMR. I'm not joking you. Uh, uh, you could. There's still an opportunity. You think I haven't missed the window? A- any day. I'm not kidding you. If you go in St. Louis, listen to me. If you're in St. Louis right now and you would like to produce my dad's ASMR show, you come over to their house. <laughs> you come over to um, uh, De Pair, Missouri. If, you have, if you're a sound engineer of some sort and you can set up a thing, a rig, where my dad can make YouTube videos and just do different ASMR, and you want to go have these with my dad, dad, I'm guessing you could probably make at least... 30 grand within the second year if you split it with a guy who helps you engineer. You'll make 60 grand in a year doing ASMR. You could. But you'd have to build a following. It'd take about a year. And if, but you'd have to be into it. I don't think you're going to be into whispering to people. Can we get a taste? I don't know. I might be into it. <laughs> talk to talk to Marion. If Marion were listening right now and you wanted to tell her what a good girl she was. Oh, Marion, look at you, you pretty little girl. I, oh, so brush, brushing Marion is when I, I send you the clips of me brushing People get me. so This is the so woman he's having an affair with, oh, right? Oh, right, right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't, uh, you okay. thought it was a dog? That, that's a big girl. <laughs> you're such, girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bar- Marion, the, the one you're cheating with, is she'd be the big, big girl. She's yeah. Big girl. You're such a big girl, Marion. <laughs> so different you. than my tiny little wife. <laughs> His tiny little wife is here. She's a little girl. Tiny. You're oh. so tiny. You are tiny, Mom. Nikki, Nikki. Yeah. Oh, my God. Any that's the time. sweetest I'll t- I'll thing call you could say tiny. to me right now. I, right now? Right just a second. It oh, makes you're me not feel feeling s- tiny? Not, not so tiny. You're such a tiny woman. Oh, God. I like having a tiny little mom. <laughs> oh, I like <laughs> the thought of that. You are a tiny little mom. I would like to Julie Glazer, <laughs> everyone. Welcome to the show, Mom. Thank you, Nikki. It's great so to have you back since I, since I canceled your segment. I, it was it was for the best of all of us. No, no, no. I, I know that it stressed you out. We just had so much to get to on the show that it just, yeah. it wasn't because you weren't funny. People loved you, and oh. and I loved you most days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, of course... People, uh, someone said last night, it's so cool that your parents are going to be on the show. And I was just like, yeah, it's awesome that I have parents that are actually entertaining who I I wouldn't invite you on if you weren't entertaining. Like, I think some people just sometimes think their parents are entertaining because they're tickled by them. I think I have a little bit more awareness than that, that like you guys are actually entertaining people. I mean, Dad, you are an entertainer by trade. High praise. Thank you. Well, yeah, you, you, I mean, you play music in bars. You toss jokes out there in between. You, you're an entertainer. You've been. Dad jokes. Da, well, dad jokes. But dad, no, no, no. Come on. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. You have. You, that, that's pretty much your repertoire at this point. But you, you make good jokes sometimes, but a lot of dad jokes. You got to wait around for. I had the... some zingers last night. You must admit. Oh there... God, he was knocking them out, wasn't he? Yeah, there was one good one. <laughs> the good one was. Oh, uh, we were talking about how everything in um, every piece of literature is inspired by the Odyssey or like some kind of. Gr- Let me do it, Dad. Some kind. You're gonna step on it. I just know you will. So oh. Every well, I'll give you your punchline. What is, what is that? That was him doing ASMR. Ew. No, that's you. Oh, uh, Andrew, please. Hi, Andrew. Mm. How are no. you? No. Hey. Hey, <laughs> Not Jay. You too. Get a room. Before I tell the story, let's get our next guest in, uh, our final <laughs> guest in the show. Um, you know her, you love her. She's here every Monday and Tuesday. My best friend, my sister from another mister, Anya Marina. Hi, babe. Thanks Hi, babe. Thanks for... Thanks for hosting the show. I don't feel like you get enough accolades. Listen, thank you so much. Aww. My dad loves accolades, by the way. That's one of his favorite words. Really? <laughs> My dad always goes, I don't think they gave you enough accolades. 
I love hearing that you got accolades. Like my sister, if I texted my sister right now and goes, what's one of dad's favorite words? Really? She would write back, I'm just going to text her yeah. and see if she can. I'll text Matt and Lauren and I'll say, please list some of dad's favorite words. There's one more you give me grief about. Wait, 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 wait a second. I know the one. I know. Oh. Three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Dastardly. Dastardly. Oh, my oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what was oh the word? God. Dastardly? <laughs> Dastardly. Oh, no. Andrew doesn't know I don't know that one. I love it. Yeah. Oh. Dastardly. Doesn't that mean like a rascal? Or... Yeah, just a bad person. My dad yeah. would go, oh, he, that, 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 that was dastardly the way he treated you. Or something like, oh, just a dastardly woman. Oh, but dastardly. But you have to be wearing an ascot when you say it. Or like yeah. smoking a long filtered cigarette. He is. And, yeah, kind, of, that, kind of gatsby issue. Yes. Right. So he always says accolades and he always says dastardly. But yes, thank you for that. That my well, dad always I, I get nervous when people when my dad comes to see me do stand up because when if the host doesn't like tout me enough to the crowd, my dad will simmer in rage in the back. Like he'll be like, Why didn't they say if they just go like give it up for your next comic, Nikki Glazer? Like, I don't need any fanfare before. I don't need people to yes, go, you, you know her from this, you know her from this, you know I her like from that. this. He's but my protective. dad is like, they could have said that you did this and that you did this and that you did like you, dad wants accolades, accolades, accolades. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a boss who used to call them allocades. It yeah, to crack up. I call them apple aids. <laughs> I call apple them aids. Apple, aids. <laughs> <laughs> apple aids. That's why Andrew doesn't eat apples. You no, know, he's scared. Yeah. It's like the I put a condom egg. on him first. <laughs> <laughs> sure you okay, do. but last night my dad made a great joke. Oh, mom, hilarious! We have so much to get to today. We really I don't think I'm not gonna hit on her before the end. Oh, of this. Good, uh, no, God. you do it yeah, all the what time. What's going on? Between I us. saw that photo of you draped over. Yeah, there's Julie. a lot going on. I didn't see any draping. Oh, his whole Don Drake leg on you. was on you. Remember when he put his leg over you? Oh, I didn't see the leg over me. Did you what feel do you mean? it? Did I you didn't even on feel your it. Body. It's yeah, such a normal right. occurrence. She didn't even didn't yeah. register. It. She thought it was, it was something else. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're having fun. Here we go. <laughs> Thank God EJ is right between us. <laughs> yeah, that's what you like. This is on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> no, Andrew and my mom have a flirtation that my mom does not like like to receive. My mom is very very feels awkward by it but mom you're a hot dish oh thank you so much nikki <laughs> seriously andrew yeah uh, hotter thanks andrew. hotter than a dish yeah <laughs> she's a whole plate plate hot, <laughs> hot plate coming whole up serving tray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm into her but you know what it is i think thanks, uh, andrew <laughs> jesus i think i'm getting to the age where like i think we could date you know what i mean like i i think of myself as like a 19 year old little boy you're but old, yeah. Yeah, yeah i'm an old man with gray hair hitting on your mom yeah like we if could... my dad died like my mom could maybe get you she'd go for someone younger yeah i mean it's well, not someone Adam's... younger than you yeah <laughs> for sure <laughs> She's not fighting Talking, it off. She's definitely no. not fighting it. I mean, she might. <laughs> Your dad would want that for me. Andrew's yeah. not, you're not now Move an opener. On, you can finally be a closer. Yeah, I can, I'll close that <laughs> ass, EJ. Oh, my God. Uh, That's a figure of speech. I'll give her some Appalades. A... Come on. No. Appalades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so we got back the word. I asked Matt and Lauren uh, oh, gosh. for the words. Uh, I go, what are dad's favorite words? He goes, dastardly. <laughs> Dude, we don't even talk about it that much. It, this no. isn't like, no, dullards, which is a good, you always say yeah, someone's a dullard. Instead of dillards, we Instead call Instead of, dullards. no, well, no one knows what dillards is, dad. It's I know dillards. Store. You, I know, but it's not It's not a, a, a nationwide well, thing. Well, there are people out in the hinterlands listening. You say that too, hinterlands. Whoa, hinterlands. What hinterlands. What are these God. words? Dad got, hinterlands is a new one that you've been tossing around a lot. So, what is this genre of linguistics? It's like, it's upper middle class. Oh, come on. A little. But it's like 1944? It is elitist. <laughs> what it's is slightly... it, 1949? <laughs> what year um, is it's it? It's my dad read one like Jack London novel, <laughs> and he read it three times, and it's a w word that comes up a lot in the first page, which you remember the most because everyone remembers the first thing of something. Okay, memorized a few words. And my they dad all just, start with D. They're great words. My dad used to say when we lived in a tiny house, this is a Quonset hut. And I, uh, as a kid, he'd always be like, oh, keep getting rackets out of the closet. And he'd be like, we don't have enough room in this house. It's like a Quonset hut. And I used to I, say it's like living in a houseboat without going anywhere. Yeah, you used to say it was, a, um, what other, you used to say we were destitute. I learned that word really young where so I was like. anything starting with D. Yeah, destitute, yes, dullard, yeah. and desterly. 
Yes, he loves D. Oh, no. <laughs> so does <laughs> Desterly. I'm desperate. Desterly. Uh-huh. It's Des. Uh-huh. Desterado. <laughs> Why don't you come don't to your, your senses? senses? Okay. Um, he has got a great voice. I just did, and I wanted to finish up that segment. <laughs> What about that? What about that great joke you have to get back to? Oh yeah, it was a good joke. <laughs> oh, so good. the Odyssey. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for keeping me on track. We were talking about last night, which is a funny comparison. That everything, um, you know how they, uh, the, the Odyssey, or like you know Greek mythology, or those like kind of, I don't even know if that was Odyssey Greek. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Odysseus. Yeah, yeah. So the those, um, yeah, he was in it. I think Athena. Yeah. Aphrodite. Okay. Zeus. <laughs> Sing wow. Desperado again. This is Poseidon. Uh huh. Poseidon. Pussy. Okay. I don't know what is getting into you today. It's old Jules. I know. There's oh. some, there's... Uh, not old. Young Jules. Yeah. Okay. The truth's coming out. The truth's coming out. You're a little too old. I'm him. old. Tiny Jules. Sorry. Tiny Jules. <laughs> so then we also said Give that, like, tiny what do people say when. What about like in comedy? If, if something like ever, if if every piece of um, art movie is inspired by like the hero's journey that was based upon Greek literature, in comedy everyone says who did it, right? Who? Oh, Homer. Oh, no. What? No, you know, it's, oh God, you God, mom. I'm of course, so stepping enough. on the goddamn again, joke. Sorry. So when something in comedy happens, like in comedy, where you go, oh, has anyone done this? Oh, Usually, right. who's done it? Eddie Murphy. Okay, you guys, I guess, don't Simpsons. know this. Simpsons have done oh. it. You've never heard Simpsons done it? Uh, I've never seen it. Have, Lynn, thank you. Noah, yeah. Simpsons, yeah. it's uh, So anything in comedy where you're like, has anyone done a joke or this? You just go, the Simpsons have done it. Like, oh, it's okay. been around, they've been around for 30-something years. It's just So then we were talking last night that the Simpsons and the Odyssey, like, it's all from that two places. And my dad goes. That's Homeric. Yeah, Ooh. which is a pretty nice. good connection nice, between right? the two, right? That was an elegant pun. Was elegant. It a, is it a pun or no? Yeah, that was a pun. Hmm. It's word. Yes. Yeah, it's great. It's 100% a pun. What are it's you on word. the fence about? It's word. Yeah, I guess it's a pun. It's a word play. <laughs> what would you, you say? Know, what word. do you think it's it is? Word. Stop being so dastardly. Oh, God. Oh, no, there's you nothing. dullard. Behaving <laughs> <laughs> So Andrew got me a gift. Let's talk about it uh, for Christmas. Let me just like say how this all went down. Andrew works for me, and so as an employee of mine, I f- and because he kind of badgered me over and over on different podcasts about how he wanted this shirt from Buck Mason, his favorite store that's around the corner from my apartment. He really wanted this shirt from Buck Mason. He he told me the, the make and model, the color, specifically how much it was going to cost me. And there was a guy that worked there when we went in who's a hot guy that Andrew kind of went in after I met him and asked him, was like, hey, would you be in my friend? And the guy's kind of like, would be into me. So there's a reason for me to go, go in there, talk to that guy again, buy Andrew a shirt for Christmas or for Hanukkah. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to, I'll do it. So I go, I buy him the shirt. I go to his podcast, Puddles, which blowing up. Blowing our up. episode of Puddles. Yeah. Most popular episode you've had? It is. Yeah. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Why do you hate to say it? Hate to no, say it. I don't it was a fantastic it. episode. Yeah. Andrew yeah. and I really cover a lot. I really recommend listening to last week's episode of Puddles uh, with Andrew Collin. But um, I go over to your place. I give you the, the gift on air. We You can actually hear it exchange. Um, and I did a little switcheroo where I he left a <laughs> Buck Mason bag at my apartment. So I used that bag to give him the gift, so it looked like I was giving him. So I pulled it out, I go, Buck Mason, and then he looks in, and he had an old pair of jeans in there that was on my place. So he looks in, and it's just his old pair of jeans, and I was like, gotcha, <laughs> didn't really get you a gift, because I was teasing about whether I was gonna get it for him. And he goes, okay, and he sets the bag, and I go, keep looking, and then underneath it was the Buck Mason shirt, switcheroo, great present. Aw, nice. nice. It was very nice. And then Andrew's like, okay, I gotta get you something. His aunt gave him some cash. Um, <laughs> she did. She gave you some cash. Yeah, she gave me some uh, the trust. Cash. And what did I say to you? Wow. What, how did how did your gift go down? Let's talk about that. I go. What would you like, Nikki? And you go. I'd like earrings, turquoise, under four hundred. I'll fucking fire you. <laughs> I didn't say under four hundred. No, I know. I'm kidding. No, you just said you I didn't said, say a price. No, you I just said, said I like turquoise earrings. No, I said turquoise earrings studs. Okay. Okay. But I wasn't calling him that. Oh, I think uh, he thought I was, was saying. It. I heard a comma. Yeah. I literally wanted a stud. One. I just wanted one stud. And I even told him where to go because on the street there's like street vendors during the weekends, and there's this woman that said, sells all these studs, and they're about twenty bucks. Like they're that's a lot for like an individual earring. I'm like, oh, that's a good price point for Andrew to get me. I don't want him to like break the bank on this thing. 
Oh, um, no. And then he comes over to my apartment the other well, day. Well, I asked Anya where to go, too. No, you, you 45 did? 45 Christopher. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then where did you, What did? how did you find the place? Uh, the girl that I met off Instagram, we went and she told me a place to go. Okay. So we went together as a couple to buy did you she, earrings. Did she pick them out, too? <laughs> she helped. Yeah? Yeah. That's cute. I put them on her to see how they would really? look on you. Yeah. So I have That's why whatever. your ear's infected. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's a dirty girl, too. Now I have hearing aids. Yeah. That's the joke. A lot of people have done that joke. Don't. Simpsons have done it, I'm sure. Oh, man. And Family uh, Guy. I know. It would, but everyone thinks they thought of hearing aids, that joke. Like, a lot of comics have that joke of, like... I got, they make some kind of joke where they're like, I put in a Q-tip that someone yeah. used and I got hearing aids and everyone's or like, I heard oh that my song. God. Yeah. Yeah, that song gave me hearing aids or whatever. Um, it's one of those comedian jokes that you think you stumbled upon. You're like, I'm the smartest person ever to make that connection. But I just am letting you know it's been done a lot. Thank you. To every young comic listening. So don't try Specifically to use it, the comics that are currently using it in your act. I don't Some guy think right now is crossing out his closer. Like, yeah. fuck. No, it's my buddy Tim has a joke about oh. it, and I go, Ugh. he just doesn't know. Yeah. I used to not know that, um, I used to do a Chris Rock joke that like had been done, but I didn't know that I'd never seen it. It's kind of like it's a joke where it's like, why is it that if a woman sucks a bunch of dicks, she's a whore? But if a man does the same thing, he's gay. It was like yeah, that yeah, joke, yeah, you know? Yeah. And I thought it was brilliant. Like, that's such a fun switch. And someone's like, he does that in, like, his special. <laughs> so anyway, hearing aids. You, yeah. The girl and you picked my, out my earrings. Yes. Um, she didn't put them on. She just put them by her ear. Yeah. And just she don't worry. she signed off on them? She signed off. Yeah, she's cool. The guy said they weren't turquoise, but I also didn't want to go to 40 different places. But Anya, what do you think? Oh, those are the ones you're wearing. Yeah, <clears throat> totally different from a turquoise stud, but very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Love. They're yeah. gorgeous. Right? Aren't they cool? Yeah, they're like for they're the like listener. Gun metal. They're they're like a a darker green lapis, almost turquoise, I guess, and they dangle and they're gorgeous. These look like you would buy them at the Chichen Itza pyramid outside. Yes. Tulum. Yes. That's a great. Yeah, Good. that's what I was thinking. They're really cool. Thanks, girl. Um, you can wear those to the Golden Globes next year when you win for your show. Oh, uh, what show? The one that Eric about to tape that we haven't pitched. <laughs> 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 I just know you'll win. <laughs> Thanks, girl. I don't think I could make Still anything right now that would be eligible for the, for the Golden Globes. But those are elegant earrings. But I might go to the, the Globes. Who knows? Maybe I'll be on some guy's arm. But the, they bring out your eyes. They, Thank you. they have a nice contrast. What if they made my eyes just pop out of my head a little bit? That's more? what I was going <laughs> for. Like I have Graves disease. Just like <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, That'd be cool. That is a tough disease. Ooh, my boy. friend has that. Yeah. What? You can't get your eyes back in your head. They Can start you? po po popping out of your head. What do you do? Wear glasses? No, no. like the, you get the really you puffy always bags look... and it oh. looks like they're coming out. You yeah. wear those glasses that your eyes pop out in the spring. Yeah. The, yeah the, <laughs> you might have seen someone wearing those, but those are actually someone with Graves' disease. <laughs> if you have Graves' disease, I'm not making fun of you. That seriously no. seems like it sucks. But it was a good reference if you know what that means. Okay, I'm always confused by these. I know a couple model -y girls that have it, and I'm like, how did you escape? Like, they don't have that symptom. Maybe they just oh. got the right medication, but I'm like, how are these models? There's so many beautiful or people. Or their eyes pop in a way that's like <laughs> fantastic. It's trendy. You know, like, yeah, that's trendy. That's beautiful. I mean, a lot of these girls on Instagram do have these like big eyes and it makes them look like aliens. Like Andrew like and I talk about these alien girls all the time. Like you went out with one the other day. Yeah, yeah. And like a beautiful alien model girl that looks like she looks... She has the. Um, he can't even remember which one. No, she's no, 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 like I do. Searching I do. His memory, Her like, skin which... always looks like pl plasmic. Like it almost looks mm. like. Well, they're wider. They're always covered Their in goo. Their faces are wider, and it's an angle where it gets skinnier in the bottom. Like yes. it's very. And they go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's puckering she's up. She's doing a fish. Why are pucker. we? Why are guys so turned on by that? Because and it looks women, like she's women sucking love it your too. Dick. Oh. That's the face a woman makes when she sucks your dick. That's why it makes guys kind of horny when they see it. Everything. it when a sense. girl from yes. a picture yeah. from up here, yeah. like a girl's taking a picture and she's like, "Okay, come on." And her eyes are Sorry, popping Dan. out of her head. That means she's <laughs> yes. really deep. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or yeah. has graves. Or has yeah. <laughs> that's some grave dick. God, that's a horrible name for a disease. Why? I know. Just, just, there's some diseases oh, the that, yeah, just You're sound worse. Way. Scabies, horrible. Yeah, yeah. cough Graves. and cough. I mean, twice, soul coughing. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so wait, are you saying you need a turquoise stud? I do. I, I'll get you one. I would love one. As a belated Christmas. No, because then she'll yeah. wear those. Hanukkah, 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 Hanukkah. Hanukkah, I'm yeah. Jewish? <laughs> yeah. People you. think you're Jewish until they see your parents. I know. Everyone thinks you I'm Jewish. You want to be Jewish, I, I want to be Jewish You've so bad. You've always wanted to always. be Jewish. I, I know. Do you remember Jewish. the first time she wanted to be a Jew? Uh, it, I don't know. No. I don't. You don't? The first time you wanted to be a Jew. I I, pers- I told you, Mom. You don't remember that conversation. I go, Mom, I, I do think kind of I have remember to confess, I you. think I'm Jewish. And you go, Nikki, it's just a phase. And I go, no, Mom. I really, really like Jewish people. I feel like what one of them. Was... I feel like I was born to, bur- born hey, in the wrong body. Burn. You should do 23 and Me. Maybe you really are. No, my dad did, and I made him check so many uh, times. I'm sh- I was like, are you sure there's we're not Jewish? Are you sure? And he's like, Nikki, it's not here. And I go, please. And uh, where are the documents? I need to see it i just the feel documents. jewish don't forget young lady you were raised public i know oh yeah that's the joke that you're doing an inside joke <laughs> okay. public God, school so i'm about Andrew. to i'm about to explain okay it. explain it you don't when have Nikki to was a little girl we, we lived in cincinnati her we lived in a bad school district so we sent her to a catholic school which we were raised catholic but we kind of just don't agree with that religion anymore but it was the only good it was the only good school to go to and then we moved to st louis and she went to a public school and then she, we overheard her talking to her cousin in, no. in cincinnati aunt, aunt lynn asked me oh my god oh. nikki remembers everything aunt lynn was talking about crazy. aunt lynn was talking about um where do you go uh she was talking to someone about religion and she was like are they oh, are you guys catholic or something and i go um no we're public um, we used to be Catholic, but now we're public. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> That's this. great. Because, like, if you go to school, why? That makes logical sense. You, you go to Catholic school, that you're Catholic. Then you go to public school. Why would you not still be Catholic? <laughs> now you're public. <laughs> so I really thought I was public. That's cute. It's a new religion we're starting. But I'm actually Jewish. I want to be Jewish. Okay. So many prominent Jewish people think I'm Jewish, and it is such an honor. Spell because your name with your a Z, name. and you've got it. Yeah. You've got, I would you got on a show, <laughs> the Z. Detroit show, for thousands of people. It was a Jewish event. No, they knew I wasn't. No, I know, but I, it was a oh public joke. Oh, my God, joke. that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Which aunt was that? Whose sister? Oh, wait, so then you went to Aunt Lynn. You told yeah. her you're public, so then when did you tell your parents? Why that did you was... tell her she couldn't be Jewish? And let her oh, get a bar mitzvah. We said you can't be. Yeah. We just said you aren't. Right. <laughs> but can't. <laughs> right. You can do anything. Yes. Except be You're Jewish. Right. <laughs> I wanted to, like, I don't know. Like, as a little girl, I just, first of all, I didn't know anything about Jewish people growing up um, in St. Louis, Missouri. They don't teach us. We, they teach us about the dreidel. They teach us about the menorah. Okay, that's good. To watch they out teach us for about it. The, like, I know that the that's men That's about all we knew hats. about it. Um, tiny hats. Tiny. Did you ever go to a bar bar mitzvah? What? Did you ever go to a bar bar mitzvah growing up? Um, I went to a bar. Did you? But not a, oh. but I thought you said a bar. A you bar, had a mitzvah, mitzvah at a bar? No, of course not. I didn't have any Jewish friends. There was no like I would not have known. I don't think I knew anyone. Did you guys know anyone in Kirkwood? Well, uh, in Kirkwood, no, not really. I no, don't no. Think do you have any that. Jewish friends? I had one guy I played guitar with. Who was I grew up with a lot of <laughs> Jewish friends. I did. You did? Grow, yeah, in right. high school. Yeah, ditto. What happened to them? They're not my friend anymore. In Cincinnati. <laughs> Just kidding. No, they're still but my friend. But we went friend. to a bat mitzvah, remember? Yeah, we and, uh, did. And it was one of my I, best friends. I was so daughter. enlightened by it. It was, it was really great, cool. It's a great process for a kid to go through. I yeah, yeah, I had a bar mitzvah. Yeah. yeah. Unlike Catholicism, it made it was seven real, G's. It was positive wow. and oh uplifting. Oh my God! Seven G's. And you bought a, a jet, jet ski, ski. Oh. a used jet ski, a Yamaha. Three seater. A yamaka. A yamaka. <laughs> I put it on my head. They're like, get that jet ski off your head. I was like, what? It's a tiny hat. <laughs> yamaka jet ski. Tiny yamaka, big Yamaha. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know what you mean. I only, I think I rode it four times in my life because um, it was a crank. We had a crank. Oh shit. Thing to like li- a crank lift. That's a great thing to buy though when you're 13 and just yeah. get seven oh G's. God. Like it's like you, getting a Ferrari. At dude, like 30. Yeah. you lived that that movie blank check. <laughs> Yeah, like that yeah. was if you could have kept going, that would have been the first. That was like the first purchase that that kid made when he remember that blank movie Blank Check. A kid somehow gets a million dollars, and I swear to God, he spends a billion yeah, through the yeah. course of this movie. But it's like you just are like, oh my god, if I was a kid, it's like Richie Rich. You're just like, whoa, what would I buy? You bought a fucking jet ski. Yeah, which was a terrible investment. I mean, it, it's probably the worst investment. But it was, did you have fun? I had fun four, five times. Maybe. Five times? No, I took it out a few times, but I just, my friends didn't live by me, so I was just riding it alone. Oh, and just, eventually God, I was just sad. like, Wait, it's a three seater, so that's two shit, empty seats. Dude. Yeah. How did you get it from three. point A to point B, Andrew? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you have to drive a jet ski to a lake or 
or something. Oh, no, no. We lived on the water. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Florida. Explains. Yeah. Florida. Sorry. Just think if you would have invested, if you would have invested in I know, Amazon. in like Apple or Walt Disney. No, just probably. Or just yeah. Apples. Apple AIDS. <laughs> yeah. No, I, uh, I, um, no, but my older brother like put it in like the mar- a mutual fund or whatever, and now he's killing it. Yeah. And it just, it was an early sign that I was not going to be good with money. Yeah. You know, because yeah. then when I was 25, I got uh, 300 grand and just instead of a jet ski, I just, you know, spent it on traveling and coke and 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 oh, and, hookers. And, and hookers and and b- bottle service. Yes. Bottle service. I should have got it. Nine jet ski or 90 jet skis. <laughs> I would have been better off. I had a jet ski growing up. My Did dad you? won one. My dad won. How a, did you win it? It Al- was like a thirty-five thousand dollars jet ski, wasn't it? It was the Al- it was Al- something. Ins- no. It was like so expensive. It was the most expensive. It was like a four-seater. I'm not even joking you. This thing was crazy. It's like a Harley Davidson. It was the. It out- was- I was in the cable business. It was the Outdoor Channel, and uh, they they told me I won this thing at some cable convention. Then I saw the girl a year later that was my rep, and she, I said, "Did I did I win, really win that?" She says, "You didn't win that. We just gave it to you because we like you." <laughs> oh yes. But didn't did I like sell winning? It? I, I, after watching Nikki and her friends on it, I sold it because they were doing these things where you turn the, the real quick and you flip off of it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you you like throw, toss your friends off. It's, I mean, it's that's why time. you have all these hillbillies flying toss. around drunk. I'm like, no, we're selling. No, this that thing. was smart on to the do. River? Yeah, in the river. It was oh, on a no uh, on a lake. That uh, was that Merrimack River um, spillway, which had a big lake. Oh. So you sold it, and what did you do with the money? Bought a bought a sports car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. You bought a sports car. I bought a fake Porsche. It was a 56 Porsche replica with a Volkswagen engine. <laughs> Volkswagen body. And it was because you guys were being too naughty too on it. It had nothing to do with that. He wanted that car. Yeah. And my midlife crisis all you. passed. Yeah. But 10 years later, I sold it to a guy in Belgium. <laughs> you also bought a convertible in 96. That was a midlife crisis purchase, too. Was, yeah. yeah. yeah it's I wanted Sebring. to surprise you. Oh, it's... my God. We were at camp, and he oh, came to pick Sebring? us up at camp. I remember, I remember this. In a yeah. Sebring with my cousin JD, and my cousin JD was coming in town, and who was like my favorite person in the world, and they were going to pick us up from camp, and then I was going to ha- have my whole summer with JD or a couple weeks or whatever. And they pulled up in that convertible at Camp Lakewood. I could not believe it. We got to be in a convertible on the way home. It was so fun. I paid way too much for it because I had to have it by that day. I told oh the guy, my you know, God. He, he saw me coming. Well, that was worth it. Qu- quite a memory. Was the top down when you rolled up? Oh, of hell yes, yeah, hell dude. Yeah. Hell yes. Cam- uh, it was like a camel interior, like black, but with tan interior. It was, right. it was cool. It was cool. It was a cool car. Kind of a junky piece of shit. It was the only, the only American car I ever bought in my life, and it was a piece of crap. It was a Chrysler. Yeah. yeah. And every time you parked it on a downslip, if it rained, the whole thing would fill up with water. Oh, yeah. I remember that <laughs> sound <laughs> of like, the water <laughs> swishing car. around in and it. I was so happy. Oh, I yeah. bought. I finally bought an American car. I'm like so happy about seat. it. I got it home. I'm looking at the owner's manual. It said Hecho and Mexico. And I'm like... This thing's made in Mexico. It's not even American. <laughs> yeah. so. Oh, you were like proud of like, oh, I bought USA. I'm supporting yeah, our country. USA made. Yeah, not so not so much. Nope. Um, it's funny, the jet ski just made me think of, I was with Caitlyn Jenner over the weekend, Friday. Friday, I did a 12-hour shoot uh, with Caitlyn Jenner in which we did not have our own places to go. We were on location the entire time. We were hanging out for 12 hours straight with me and Caitlyn Jenner. My parents, Anya and Andrew, have heard all the stories of that day. It's going to be a, a show for Netflix that Burt Kreischer has. I don't know the name of it. I don't know when it's coming out, but Burt Kreischer and me and Caitlyn Jenner spent the entire af- day together Friday, this past Friday. And um, I love Caitlyn Jenner. Bottom, you'll hear me talk about her a ton because now we're friends. But like, oh, there was one moment where I w- I was trying not to like talk about her daughters because I am a huge fan and I didn't want to fangirl out too much and seem like I was kissing ass. But I really like Kendall. I like observe her. I think she's and her father won the decathlon gold medal in 1976, and now her mother is still like she. She comes from really like genetic, athletically, gen- like we forget these girls come from Olympi- an Olympian. Right. Until you saw, Ka- and I go, we were hanging, Caitlin and I were hanging out on set. It had been a long day. And I was just like, she said something about Kylie and Kendall and how they have very different presences on, on Instagram. And Kylie does this and Kendall does this. And um, <laughs> and I, she was like, they just like do it. They have their own style. And I wish Kylie would call me back more often. And, you know, she was she's just kind of like chilling. And I just go, I got to tell you, I'm a big fan of Kendall. And she was like, and I go, Kendall, can I tell you the most impressive thing about Kendall? And I go, the bottle cap challenge. I don't know if anyone saw Kendall Jenner's 
bottle cap challenge. Now, but bottle cap challenge for my parents or those who are listening who have no idea what I'm talking about. It was this like it was kind of like the um, ice bucket challenge. You know, all the celebrities are doing it, but it wasn't to raise money. It was just this thing where celebrities would kick um, a, a bottle, let's say like a um, like a, a screw bottle cap on something, and they would kick it from like. Like it would be sitting on a table and they just kick it ever so lightly and it would spin it and it would come off. The cap would come off without the bottle it, yeah. moving. So it was like, took a lot of practice. Kendall Jenner did this while on a jet ski. Uh, the, the bottle was on a boat that she drove the jet ski towards. She slices it real quick, perfectly missing the boat, extends her leg and kicks this butt. It's so impressive. It Noah, is. do you have it? Wow. It is. I go, I go, Caitlin, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And she was like, I called her. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Look, yeah, look at form. this. I don't, even, I don't see anything other than her. Wow. wow. Wait, it doesn't... Wait, can we go back a little bit? She could have lost her leg. Oh, no. It's better when it's the, it's the nice, lead up. That's a great maybe ski. Maybe go ahead. Uh, maybe it does again. That's, that's a sea do. That's, that's your jet ski. Wow. That's a sea it's yeah. so impressive. But she was like... She told me that um, Kendall... She had to do it like uh, seven times. Oh, so oh a little fuck that. That, kinda, no. that just looks kind of privileged. What do you mean? Well, she's... Obviously, but really look, good look at, at this. the look jet at this. She's... ski, and she's on boats a lot. Who cares if it's privileged? I mean, of course she is. And I believe that's a Fiji water. <laughs> and yeah, that's Fiji too. <laughs> she's in Fiji. <laughs> See, <laughs> and she's probably in Fiji. <laughs> this looks relatable to me. Yeah. It's why does everything have to be relatable? That's the thing. People hate. No, that's really impressive. That's really impressive. But, uh, but that's the thing. Cool. Like Caitlyn Jenner, I was talking to her, and she gets so much bullshit from people because. It's especially the transgender community. They are not that friendly to her, even though she is someone who really put their cause and their uh, put them not on the map, so to speak, but like gave people an understanding of what it was, made it a little bit more palatable for people. It was a huge moment in 2015 mm -hmm. when she came out. And the transgender community, by and large, she says is like not that into her. And she's donated so much money. She's tried to do so much because she's white and rich, mm -hmm. essentially is what it is. And they... They think that, like, you know, I, I, I actually have a problem in my myself, like, complaining about being a woman sometimes. Because I do. I complain about, like, I think it sucks being a woman. I think if you got to choose before you're born, you choose to be a man. But I even feel ridiculous complaining about being a woman because I'm a white woman. So it's like, the out of all the, that's, that's the most privileged kind of, you mm -hmm. know. So can you still be in a minority and be the most privileged of that minority and still have a voice. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. And so she gets, she's, um, I don't know, it was a really interesting day. I learned so much about um, transgendered rights. It's something that I think I'm really going to get into. Um, and it's something I've been into all along, but it was sitting down with her and learning that she doesn't love Trump as much as I thought she did mm -hmm. was really nice. I hope she comes on the show someday to talk about it, but it was... It was a wild day. She made a joke at one point. You're going to love this. So she's like on the fence about me. Not on the fence about me, but she's just like, she, she taught, like, the show was about her initially. Bert and I are pretty much interviewing her about her life. And it's just the most incredibly fascinating life wow. to win the decathlon can come from nowhere, then marry into this family that is the, becomes the most family, famous family in the world. Then the, the, the whole time to have been a woman and at the age of 65 deciding to go through gender reassignment surgery and everything in transition and come out publicly where she can never hide again. So she brave. can't just hide as a woman. Everyone knows she is, even though she could pass as a woman and no one would know, she, they'd just be like, that's a really tall woman. She can't. People know she's transgender. That's the thing that she was saying. She was like, women who transition from women to men, oftentimes because testosterone injections make you they're so much better than the other way it's easier to go from man to woman to man than to going from man to woman um you just look like a short man when you go from woman to man a lot of times and the hormones actually make your voice deepen you grow facial hair all you have to do is get top surgery which is not a all you have to do but it's like there's a lot less what do you to do, do with the bottom the bottom, I mean, you they, they can take out your vagina and, and make a... It's harder to make a penis than it is to make a vagina, but... They can invert You it. can go... Yeah, they can invert it, which the surgery is definitely work, is harder to do when you're transitioning from woman to man. But passing in public, right. which is a huge thing for the transgender community, is that they kind of... Um, 
alienate each other between you pass and I don't. And you're lucky you pass. You don't represent us as well. And you don't have to. Because you don't have to have you don't much have to of a ad- burden. You don't have to address it. You don't have to be like, I'm transgendered. Everyone knows it. You might be friends with people who are men, who you think are men, but were women, women because yeah. I got to be honest with you, I did some research. It's Everyone thinks that there are more transgendered women because you see them more and they stand out more. But it's split forty nine percent and fifty one percent. So do you think Caitlyn was inspired by the show that used to be on Amazon about the transgender, the guy that? That's one of the best shows ever. What was the name of that show? Uh, Transparent. Transparent. Do you um, think- oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it was like a time where all of that stuff was happening. But she, I really recommend someone or any of you reading her book because it's like her life is seriously insane to to do all that and to come out as a woman when women at the age of seventy are like worthless to society. That's like the that's when as a woman you have the least amount let's just be honest with ourselves. People don't like old people anyway. Women are marginalized more than men. So as an older woman, why would you choose to make the transition when no one you're not fuckable anymore? But guess what? Caitlyn Jenner's fuckable. She's so hot. So the whole like it was I just think she's so amazing and so brave and I know a lot of people God I posted about her and the hate the hateful comments I got was so overwhelming and to even think about how she what she gets on her end if i'm getting it and seeing it and having to vigilantly with my measly half a million followers she has um, she has 12 million followers the the comments she gets there's just no keeping up with the the negative comments it it gets such a vehement response well people are so fucking rude dad they don't even go like they don't even bring up the issues with her that are really maybe worth bringing up. Like, why do you support Trump? Why are you still Republican? Stuff like that. That actually, you know, she has to respond to. And I and I got answers for those, and I feel really good about it. But they just go, hi, Bruce. Hey, oh, I see Bruce in wow. this picture. Yeah. It's just like, why? Why are you doing that? To offend they her. Just, but it's rude. It's just like, Bruce, we know you're, you're Bruce. And it's just like, she didn't, like, fucking... You're just calling out... I just, I don't understand people. Well, I, think I really don't understand Well, I think she gets a lot more attention because she is so famous. I mean, of course. She didn't ask to be famous, though. No. She well, was just a good Olympian. Yeah, you're right. She didn't no, ask. No, it's amazing. I. Uh, it's a you, burden. Yeah. And she accepts it and she doesn't complain about it, but she understands it's interesting to be around someone so famous where everywhere they go, everyone knows who they are. And um, she's really strong. She's she one of the such most... such a good sport at the roast. Yeah, did she give you grief oh, yeah. about the jokes you did about her? Oh, yeah. So this is what I was going to tell that. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. She, so she, like, had a playful energy with me um, from the get-go because of the roast. And I think she was just a little bit in, like, joke mode. And she was she has, like... She has like mom jokes, you know, like uh. it, she's she's cute. She's adorable. Some of her material. But this was a uh, this was one that came out of nowhere. We we're getting our makeup done in between shots and she's sitting there and she and and she's just confessed all this stuff about when she decided to transition. She's like really emotional about it. And like we just we did this two hour interview with her where we walked through everything. So she's revealed so much. She didn't really we didn't really reveal much of ourselves, but it was a, just a, real, a lot about her. Which was, you know, what we wanted in that moment. And then um, we're sitting around, and it just feels that vibe where you can just be honest about, like, your struggle and, like, what's going on. So we're just getting our makeup done off camera. And she goes, um, Nikki, why why did you become a stand-up comedian? Why? And I just go, oh, I just turn around and go, oh, I was anorexic, and no one wanted to be friends with me when I looked like a skeleton, so I developed a <laughs> sense of humor, and then I, like, got really, really funny, and, like, you know, people didn't like me, so I had to, like... You know, develop a sense of it was really a survival skill, and she just goes, "Well, it looks like you're not suffering with anorexia anymore." Um, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Everyone was like, "What?" Even her makeup artist was like, "She learned a how to be burn. catty too." Huh? Yeah, and she was so proud of herself, and I loved it because I like I gave it to her so hard at the roast. It was nice to get that back. You deserve it. And, yeah. and and then later on, we were doing this hypnotherapy session where. We did a lot of activities, but at one point, um, uh, the the woman asked us like what we wanted to work on, and I was like, you know, we were going. Bert's like, I'd like to like relax more, and I'm like, I'd like to work on my self esteem during the session, and and then and I go, you know, it's just like really hard. Like I I, I, I like it's hard to um I I I would like to um 
remedy the hits my self-esteem has taken from looking at pictures of Caitlyn's daughters. I was like, it's all their fault. And, I, and she was just like, I got beautiful girls. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and then we got hypnotized and she fell asleep. She was like legit snoring. It was really? hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to watch this show. Oh, I can't wait for did, this show did to Did they air. ask her anything under hypnosis? Any kind of revealing things? They No, but that's the thing, Dad. That's a really good question. When you're transgendered and you come out, you ain't got no more secrets. Right. There is not anything this Probably woman has true. not admitted and talked about. She is an mm. open book. That's why I loved her so much. I was like, because when you have been hiding a secret your whole life of you, like you're a woman and you have to be a man your whole life, your whole life, 65 years, you're living a fucking lie. When you finally go, I'm a woman, do you think you worry about being like, Oh, I don't. I do this sexually, or I do. I wore this one time, or I pick my nose and eat it. You don't give a fuck about <laughs> any of that when you're like, I'm a woman screaming it from the rooftops. So transgender people, I really like and love in that way because if you are, have the balls or lack of balls <laughs> to come out and reveal and be a different gender, you are the you're the fucking strongest person to me in the entire world. Like that is. That's braver than fucking anything else I can imagine. So that's why I just, I really realized, like, she's I, the fucking I coolest. eat my booger sometimes. You know, I know, you're very, that's why I love you, Andrew, is because yeah. you are deep down a woman who eats her boogers. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching that clip that you just watched. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. If you did, thumbs up it. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you just keep watching more videos? Let them play. Share with your friends. Go share on your Instagram story. Go, just have a great day.